if I'm right about all my predictions, I get to be like, boom, haha, told you so. And now we have a record saying that I said it first. Boom. Hey, what's up, guys? English Dave here for Entertaining Links, where we talk movies, TV shows, and anything else we find entertaining. This is the very first episode of our new show, Entertain Links Pregame, where we talk about movies before going to see them. And of course, being a first episode, it has to be something special. And yes, Star Wars The Last Jedi is finally upon us. Nerds everywhere are super excited, having either already seen the movie, as of recording, the movie is officially out in the United States, all the nerds out there who are excited to see it. I haven't seen it myself just yet. I have my IMAX ticket ready. I'm going to see it on the largest screen on the East Coast, and I am super excited and pumped. But before that, I had some of the members of the team at Entertain Links record their thoughts of what to expect or what they're expecting from this new movie, what they're expecting from the director, the film itself, the story, the plot, how it connects to the overall lore. So there won't be any spoilers per se, but I feel like anything seen in trailers is up for grabs. So if you don't even want to know what was seen in the trailer, I would suggest not listening to this till after you've seen the movie. If you don't care about that, listen away and enjoy. First up, we have our very own newcomer, Matt Cooper. Matt always has some interesting things to say, so hope you guys enjoy it. So... We're three hours away from The Last Jedi, and I am, to put it mildly, uh, very excited. I, I really like that I don't know what's going to happen. Genuinely. I think the trailers have done a really good job of not giving away big plot points. Um, I'm not really sure how the three-act structure is going to break down. But from all the reviews, um, and I've only read like the Rotten Tomato Sparknote versions, says you don't want this movie spoiled for you, which means that there's probably a lot that could be spoiled, meaning big plot twists, big character revelations. Um, so my predictions are that we will find out that Rey is either a Kenobi or a descendant of Palpatine, which I personally would love because it would mean that she is going to switch to the dark side while Kylo Ren switches to the light, which I would really, really like to see. I, I think a reversal like that would be fantastic for a series that has sort of become stuck in its own roots of following traditional storytelling. I'm expecting to hate Porgs, but love them at the same time. They're objectively kind of cute. Um, I think Luke will die, unfortunately. I just have a gut feeling that each of these movies, they were planning on killing off one of the original cast with um, Carrie Fisher's Princess Leia for episode nine. Now, unfortunately, that, you know, obviously isn't going to be able to come to fruition. Um, but I think that the decision to kill Luke would have already been made. Um, so I think that will happen. Uh, I think Snoke is going to be the big bad. I mean, uh, that might be obvious, but I think he'll be the big bad of the trilogy. Um, but I don't think we're going to get any big revelation about who he is. I think he's just um, a Sith Lord who is just, you know, the big bad, the, the person that our heroes have to come together to fight off. Um, and yeah, those are my big predictions. I, I don't know that any of them are really out of this world, but um, like I said, I don't really know what direction this film is going to go, and that's really what I love and I'm looking forward to. Until next time. Thanks for that, Matt. Matt always has some very interesting thoughts. Do you guys agree with what he thinks? Do you think Luke Skywalker will die? Do you think Kylo Ren and Rey will switch places with Rey becoming evil and Kylo embracing the light? What do you guys think? Let us know. Find us on social media at entertainlinks or you can send us an email entertainlinks at gmail.com and on this weekend's Spoiler Talk podcast, we will read some of your thoughts and we will look back on what we were thinking. Next up, we have our very own Raven. She has some interesting thoughts of her own. Check them out and let us know what you think. Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Raven. I'm here today to talk about Star Wars The Last Jedi. 
Uh, let's get started. The new Star Wars The Last Jedi is going to be directed by none other than Ryan Johnson, the director of Looper. Um, Looper is actually the only Ryan Johnson film that I've seen. He also directed a whole season or a couple of years, I believe, of Breaking Bad, the show. I will say that I um, absolutely loved Looper. From the research that I've done, I've come to the notion that Ryan Johnson is a huge fan of the Star Wars franchise and a huge fanboy. And that alone for me is an automatic win. I think it's extremely important for a director to be a fan of you know, what they're working on. And I think that it truly shows when a director is a fan of something that they're creating. And I think that J.J. Abrams did a good job of giving that fanboy aspect to The Force Awakens. And I think that Ryan Johnson is going to do an even better job. As far as story goes, I think there's going to be... I mean, the way that I see it is I, I truly think there's going to be a merging of good and evil. I think it's going to be the end of the dark side and ultimately the end of the Jedi. And that they're going to find some new kind of middle ground with the Force led by Rey and possibly Kylo. Um, my reasons for thinking that is because they call it the last Jedi, but saying the last Jedi doesn't mean that there's not going to be anyone else with the force. I think that it means the end to the style in which they use the force, you know, the way that they go about it, which is the Jedi way. You know, I think that it's going to be the end to that. Um, I also think that part of the reason that that's going to happen is because I really think Luke is going to reject Rey once he realizes how powerful she is, uh, which may be the thing that leads to you know, her deciding that the life of the Jedi isn't for her. Um, you know, Luke is scared of her, ultimately, because of everything with Kylo. So I'm interested to see if, you know, he actually does train her or if she shows up wanting to be trained and he ultimately rejects her. I'm also interested to see where Finn's character will go because, as we all know, in the last film, Finn was very much a reluctant hero. You know, Finn only really got involved because of Rey, so... Ray, now that she's going to be off training with Luke, uh, you know, is is Finn going to still stick with the Resistance? Is he going to become a leader of the Resistance? And from what we saw in the trailer, it kind of looks like he's back in uh, his clothes from the dark side, from the Sith. So I'm interested to see whose side he's going to be on, if he's going to be a double agent of sorts. And I like seeing that he's going to fight the general again. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. I'm also, I'm also interested to see how they're going to deal with Princess Leia's death. I don't think Kylo will be the one to kill Leia, even though it looks like he is. I think in the film, he's actually going to hesitate. But something within his hesitation, I think that he'll hesitate and maybe somebody else will fire. Or maybe because he doesn't do anything at all, his mom dies anyway, or he backs out. But regardless, I think when she does pass, I think his the passing of his mother is going to be the thing that makes him realize that the dark side isn't for him and maybe he doesn't want to be Sith at all. And other than that, I'm also happy to see Poe is back. I'm super excited to get some more screen time from Mark Hamill. I, I think I'm just ecstatic for all of it, the special effects. I'm, I'm excited for the new characters that are going to be added. And I'm, I'm ultimately excited to the first, because basically this is the first actual film of the kickoff, you know? You look at The Force Awakens and The Force Awakens is more of a bridging between the older films and the new films to come but this is the first time we're seeing a new film but the way that it's seeming to me is like there's no way we can go wrong you know i feel like at bare minimum it's still gonna be just a good movie and at my actual expectation it's gonna be amazing thanks for that raven do you guys agree with what she said do you guys find any of it interesting what stood out to me the most was this idea of ray and or kylo finding this middle ground that isn't quite jedi that isn't quite sith going along with what luke says in the trailer it's time for the jedi to end and that could mean creating something new that's the best of both worlds that's something that i like the idea of do you guys like that idea do you guys have any theories based on that idea let us know find us on email entertainlinks at gmail.com or like i said on all social media at entertain links so what are my thoughts going into the movie well my general thoughts are that I'm probably going to really like the movie unless it's on some level of prequel trilogy Batman v Superman Justice League Suicide Squad level of just nonsense 
I'm pretty sure I'm so far gone down the Star Wars rabbit hole that I'm pretty much going to like anything that isn't terrible with Star Wars. But with this movie, I think I'm going to love it a lot. I think it could possibly be one of the best. We're hearing from reviews that it is one of the best. So I think that is possible. I love director Ryan Johnson. He's a fantastic director. Uh, and like Raven said, he's clearly a nerd. And that's always a good thing. Someone who's passionate about the product that they're creating or they're delivering to us audiences. Um, I'm not quite sure where the plot will go. I'm glad, like Matt said, that we don't have much in way of plot. All we've got is what came before. And we can kind of make educated guesses or theories based on that but we don't really have much i can't wait to see a lot of those actors especially luke skywalker we can't wait to see mark hamill playing the role finally after all these years because the last movie doesn't count he was just standing there giving us some kind of facial expression finally we get to see him really embody the role of luke skywalker i look forward to seeing where the characters finn and ray go they were some of my favorite characters introduced in the last movie finn was sliced in the back i'm glad to see from the trailers that he's up on his feet and i like to see his kind of story alongside uh, gwendolyn christie's captain phasma who i hope please please i hope actually gets to be cool not like Boba Fett, who end up becoming cooler than they deserve. I'm, I'm not quite sure about where I want Rey's storyline to go. Should her parents be someone important? I don't know. Maybe they shouldn't be because this new trilogy is about moving forward, not moving backwards. So if her parents are important, then that's about kind of connecting to history. But if they're not, it's about her kind of creating her own pathway. There's some people who think she might turn evil. That could happen. I don't want that to happen purely because we've seen that journey of someone good going towards the dark side in Anakin. Yes, it wasn't told as gracefully as we would have liked it, but we've seen it. What I'm interested in and seeing, possibly seeing is Kylo Ren's story. He's a character I really like. A lot of people didn't like him from the last movie because you know they found him oh he's this pretty boy under this mask you know he's just whiny and all that stuff and that's why I loved him because he wasn't as evil as he thought he was. He kind of, for some reason, which I'm sure we'll get into in these upcoming movies, you know, he connected to his grandfather, Darth Vader, wanted to be like him, put on the mask, even though he doesn't need one, his grandfather needed the mask. Kylo didn't need the mask. He had all this strength in an environment where nobody was even close to his level of strength until he met Rey and he backed out, he lost the fight. I'm interested to see where his story goes. He killed his father. Can't wait to see what Carrie Fisher does, the late great Carrie Fisher. I don't think the character will be killed off uh, as Raven thinks, or I don't think Luke Skywalker will be killed off either as Matt thinks, but I could be wrong. I look forward to seeing uh, Benicio Del Toro. We forgot he's in this movie because we haven't seen him in, in any trailers. I'm curious to see if his character is this major role or something small. But I don't think with Benicio, you go for a small role. Oscar Isaac is always a great actor. Poe Dameron, I think, is a really, really great character. I think this movie is going to really flesh him out. We like to focus on the bad guy characters like Kylo Ren or the Jedi good guys like Rey. But sometimes we forget about the rebels themselves. I think the rebels are a huge part of the story, which if you're not watching Star Wars Rebels, I think all you Star Wars fans should definitely watch Star Wars Rebels. It is a fantastic story that goes into the nuances of who the rebels are and what brought them together. And I think Poe Dameron embodies that. And I think we're going to see this guy grow into be a leader. Supreme Leader Snoke is someone that I'm very interested in seeing who, his journey. I don't think we're going to get much in this movie, but I think... We're going to get enough that's going to ask more questions. Um, I'm interested to see, is he a Sith or is he something else? I don't know, but I'm very, very interested. In terms of fears, there's not much I'm worried about in this movie. I think the biggest thing I'm worried about is a character going down a path that I personally don't want them to go down. I think that's very subjective, of course, but I'm not a fan of taking Rey down an evil path. I think we've seen that good going down the evil path. Uh, I am in support of Rey going down a path that says it's not the Jedi way, it's not the Sith way, it's something else. But all that is subjective. I don't think there's many many things I fear in this movie. Oh, I'm looking forward to the score. I can't wait, wait to listen to the music. One of the best parts about Star Wars is the score. I've listened to the music in the trailer so many times. I can't wait to see this to listen to the score in IMAX stereo sound. And that's it. 
thanks to the team members who were able to send in their thoughts uh, if you guys haven't seen the movie yet but listen to this podcast or if you've seen the movie still let us know what your thoughts were going into the film send us an email entertainlinks at gmail.com and don't forget to check us out next week myself and the team will be recording our star wars the last jedi spoiler talk and there we will talk full spoilers on what we thought about the film itself if you guys have seen the film by then send us an email with the title star wars the last jedi spoilers and let us know your thoughts on the film and we will read them out on air and from those that we read we will select a winner for a star wars special prize pack so listen out for that thank you guys for listening to the very first episode of entertain links pre-game where we talk about movies before they come out. My name's English Dave, and we will be speaking to you guys later. See ya.